Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make your own totem sculpture inspired by Tony Abeda's totem that can be found in our collection at the James Museum. Step 1. Gather your materials. Gather materials from around your home. Be sure to check places like your recycling bin for cardboard, plastic, and other used materials. You'll also need to think about ways to attach your totem together. This could be done with masking tape, rubber bands, or glue. Step number two, create your pieces and assemble your totem. Look at the objects you've collected and think about what shapes and forms that could be an inspiration for your totem sculpture. In Abeda's totem, he uses organic and geometric shapes. So I chose to use both organic and geometric shapes in my piece. Here's a quick lesson on organic and geometric shapes and the differences between the two. Organic shapes are rounded and similar to objects you'd see in nature. They have smooth, rounded edges like a circle or a blob. Geometric shapes have corners or sharp edges like a triangle or this pokey shape here. Once you've decided which shapes you'd like to create, you'll make them out of the objects you collected. I chose to cover mine in paper mache so it's easy to paint later on. Here's how you make paper mache at home if you'd like to do the same. In your kitchen, measure out half a cup of flour and one third cup of water and mix together in a large bowl until you get a slimy mixture. This will be used as glue for your pieces. You'll create your shapes and cover with paper and your paper mache mixture. You'll want to let your pieces dry before you begin the next step. I place my wet pieces outside for a faster drying time. Once your pieces are dry, you'll start planning to stack your totem. You'll want to decide which pieces will be at the top and the bottom of your sculpture. You'll need glue or tape to begin attaching your pieces together in a stacked formation. I used hot glue to attach my pieces for a faster drying time. You might need some extra hands to help you hold your totem as you glue or tape it all together. So be sure to grab a buddy if you need some help. Once your totem is assembled, you can choose to prime it like I did with white paint. I found old white paint at my house to use as a base coat. Step number three, adding decoration. If you have access to coloring materials like markers or paints, you can choose to add color to your totem sculpture. I've chosen to add paint and markers to my totem. This allows me to add more shapes on top of my stacked shapes. Go out and have some fun and be sure to upload a photo of your totem masterpiece to social media with the hashtag the James Museum.